Well, for instance, when I first joined the group, um, there were some keyboard players that had preceded me, and legendary keyboard players that had preceded me. Are you talking about in the are you, when in you middle. officially joined? Yeah. So in o, 04? Is 02. That, 02 was when you officially joined, but yeah. you were touring. 03 was when it was public. Okay. Um, but prior to that, you were working, you were touring with them at times? I didn't start till around 02. Oh, okay. But you were you were sitting in with them I regularly? I was with Greg and, Allman's band right. in 01. Ah, okay. And then, uh, but we all had, well, I was playing in a band with Warren, the guitar player uh, from Government Mule, uh, in 93. It was backing up his solo albums. Oh, um, okay. So we became friends in 93. Government Mule formed around 95, and all three guys were close friends of mine. And we wrote music together, uh, and I would sit in with them when they would come to New York, uh, but they were a trio, and uh, power trio, classic power trio, bass, drums, and guitar. <clears throat> but whenever they would play in New York, we would get a keyboard up there, and I would play a few tunes with them, and I even had uh, some co-writes that were uh, title tracks on their records. Um, well, that would be uh, uh, life after life before uh, insanity. Life before insanity. Life after insanity. Nobody knows. <laughs> um, but uh, the uh, trio was sacrosanct to me. I, I loved power trios, and I loved Government Mule the way it was. There were a couple of gigs where I would sit in to the trio and go back to my table and after I sat in, and I think I said to Machan at one point, um, Machan, my wife now, it was my girlfriend then, um, man, I'd love to join this band, but I don't want to wreck the trio. And at that same gig, Alan Woody, the bass player who's no longer with us, uh, would say to his buddies in the band, I think Danny gets it. Mm. And uh, there was some monkeying around with keyboards that Mule did prior to me joining with a guy named Johnny Neal, ridiculously amazing keyboard player. Um, and then after Woody passed, uh, they made two albums with a different bass player on every song. Uh, and I was involved in making those records, um, both as a keyboard player and as a co-writer. Um, but it wasn't until 2002 that I actually did a tour. And then you were yeah. officially, oh, that, okay. And we did a couple of two-week tours, maybe two or three of those, and we had a really good time. And uh, I remember uh, saying to the guys, you know, if you want to keep doing this, I'll, I'll stay along. Because at that time, they were using various different guest keyboard players. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so before they replaced the bass player, uh, they still had a, a bullpen, a revolving door of different bass players. I was made a member uh, to complete the three guys, and then eventually we added a full-time bass player. Gotcha. Yeah, it was Hess first, right? Yeah, Andy and then uh, Jorgen, Jorgen who's right. now the bass player. Yeah. And uh, so I guess the announcement that I was an official member happened in 03. Um, but for about six or seven months before that, we all knew.